<laughs> That's good. We'll have a little fight We're going to have to have a fight afterwards. <laughs> hey, it is uh, related to kangaroos, wallabies, and koala bears. And today, we are getting an up-close look at a baby eastern baitong? Batong. Batong. And with the help of Christy Markham from our sponsor, Wildlife World Zoo. And this little guy's name, you'll never guess it in a million years. This is Bobby. Right, this is Bobby. He's only four months old now. When these batongs are born, <laughs> they're about the size of a grain of rice. They crawl into their mom's this? pouch. Oh my God, that little. Right, yeah. So they grow up just like a kangaroo. They're a marsupial, so they're related to kangaroos and koalas. And Bobby, like I said, is four months old. So when he's done growing, he's going to get a little bit bigger than this, about four to seven pounds. And how much does he weigh right now? About? Um, not very Half a much. Pound? Yeah, if that. Can I try? And, can I hold? Yeah, it? definitely. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you how much he weighs. <laughs> oh. If you hold it right underneath his little bottom. He likes that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't weigh a pound. Yeah. Okay. 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 He's very squirmy. He wants to hop around. If you look, he has these giant legs, and he's going to hop on his legs just like a kangaroo would. I don't. Does he have giant legs or giant feet? Because look at these feet. Yeah, he has huge feet as well and a very long tail. And his tail is semi prehensile. What's that mean? It means he can grab things with his tail. Now, some monkeys have fully prehensile tails where they can hang from their mm -hmm. tail. He can't do that, but he can gather food with his tail and twigs and different things like that. Now, are there just one born at a time? I mean, how many are born and can sit in their little mommy's pouch? Typically, just one. Okay. And uh, these batons can have babies in all three stages of life. So they could be pregnant with one, have one in their pouch, and one outside their pouch nursing, yes. Okay, I just thought, giving birth to a grain of rice? Right. He's a cake, hello? Right. <laughs> um, something you wouldn't believe, though, being able to have babies in all three stages of life. you think there'd be batons everywhere. Right. But they're actually extinct in mainland Australia. That's where they used to be found and they're extinct because of the illegal introduction of the red fox. Okay. And the only place you can find these guys in the wild now is the island of Tasmania. Yeah, he's really, really soft. Um, so you mean because they are, the red fox is eating these? Is that what you're trying to right, say? Right, yeah. Okay. And yeah, they're totally extinct in the mainland Australia now. And they're not even sure how many are left on the island of Tasmania. Really? They're only found in private uh, land reserves. So did you already tell me what he eats? What's he eat? These guys eat mainly funguses out in the wild. In the wild, they love different uh, mushrooms and truffles and stuff like that. Do you think that. he likes this? <laughs> or is I he telling me to stop? He's trying to sniff you right now. And hey, see you sniff me. <laughs> she says he, sometimes he nibbles, but he's never broken any skin. I'm like, oh, that's good. To know. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, and they'll use their front hands to gather their food. Their little tiny hands they can grab things and dig with. And you can see he has pretty long claws. Oh, now, yeah. Do you see those? They're a nocturnal oh. animal. <laughs> he just tried to grab my finger and eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He might be a little hungry. He's going to get his bottle after this. They're nocturnal, so they're going to be active at nighttime. And he has those giant eyes to help him see at night when he's hopping around looking so for food. So if people food. go to the Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium during the day, they're not necessarily going to see him. Will they see him sleeping or some? Yeah, depends. we have them in our small mammal building. Okay. And they're at the bottom of the slow loris exhibit. So when the lorises, you can see the lorises, you can see his parents. And they're on the ground. Sometimes they're hopping around. And sometimes they're curled into a little ball. Oh, he's so cute. Can we just set him down one more time? Yeah, definitely. I don't, I, I, I want to see him like hop, but I know you don't want to see him <laughs> hop because he'll hop really fast. But let's see if we can get a little hop and going. Come on, little guy. Here you go. Here you go. Of course, now we want him to hop, but he's not going to move. Right, right. Oh, well. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. Okay. Very cute. <laughs> All right, well, we want to give you uh, some more information about the uh, Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium. They are at the corner of Loop 303 and Northern Avenue in Litchfield Park. Perfect place to bring the kids for the summer, since they're all going to be out of school. Their phone number is 623-935-WILD, and you can reach them online at wildlifeworld.com.